The posture jack achieves basically uh, at least three results, as illustrated here, to facilitate optimal alignment of the head, neck, jaw, shoulder girdle, and spine, to relieve the painful symptoms that I've discussed related to poor postural alignment, jaw problems, neck pain, headache, shoulder impingement, back pain, and then to equip individuals with the means whereby posture correction is readily achieved. Something that they could take to the office on a business trip, use in the workplace, use at home to readily and comfortably correct their own postural alignment. We use a concept that people can relate to and that's the concept of the corkscrew. And this is in conjunction with our understanding of Newtonian physics to keep it Simple, it's related to Newton's third law of motion, that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you look at the way the corkscrew works, as the arms of the corkscrew descend, the cork is thrust upward out of the bottle. It would be similar to a rocket blasting off. It would be similar to letting the air out of a balloon. The balloon goes forward as the air goes backward. So we have this action-reaction mechanism that's illustrated with the use of the corkscrew. And people actually feel this occurring in their body. And so as compared to the commands of shoulders back, chest out, chin in, it's so much more efficient and comfortable to say find your inner corkscrew. Feel the spine come up, become jacked up and taller and straighter as you push down on the handles. Get that lift off effect. And what does this look like in the human body? Conceptually, it's related to the the function of the clavicles and the rib cage. As the shoulder girdle comes down, the clavicles thrust the sternum up. The ribs thrust the sternum and the spine up. So here's the action going down, and then there's the lift off, and there's the anti-gravity effect, the lengthening effect. And what's the result of this? Becoming more vertical, becoming more efficient, becoming more balanced. In a sense, achieving what we call the somatocentric state the centered body, the comfortable body, the youthful body, the body that's free of medication and pain relievers, that's achieving its own pain relief naturally. And you know, people, physiotherapists, chiropractors, physicians, are so concerned about what happens as people use postural support jackets and corsets and braces for a period of time. They become dependent. With the posture jack, what are they becoming dependent on? They're becoming dependent upon exercise. So as they use the jacket, I see it as training wheels. That they become stronger, they become more aware, their kinesthetic awareness, their proprioceptive sense of where they belong is improved. They can start to put the jacket away and function for longer and longer periods without it. So it is a training tool, it does feel great, but eventually, if the objectives are achieved, they should be able to function without it. So we foster dependence, true, but dependence on what? On exercise, on an active process that gives people the tools and the empowerment to relieve their symptoms on their own and to eventually function again without the jacket as they go through their activities of daily living and their sports and their other activities. This is an illustration of what I think is happening from a muscular point of view. We know that the musculoskeletal system consists of joints moving and muscles contracting. So what is the muscular component of this corkscrew mechanism? I have one theory that it's related to the role of the lower trapezius muscle. That as the shoulders come down and back, the lower trapezius muscle actually lifts the spine up. That elevator concept. And you know the other example that works extremely well with patients in addition to the corkscrew principle, is the illustration of having three elevators, a left, a right, and a central elevator. And as they push these two elevators down, the central elevator is jacked up. And I think part of the, re the response of that jacking up is related to the functioning of the lower trapezius muscle, a very key muscle in shoulder rehab, in uh, spinal rehabilitation, and spinal stabilization therapy. And I think this explains to a large degree some of the physiology behind the jacket. Another nice concept 
is that of portable rings. As you look at the gymnast who's on the rings or the parallel bars, they're depressing their shoulder girdle, so there's the action, and then there's the liftoff and the leveling of the clavicles and the increased verticality of the spine and the pulling back of the shoulders and the opening up of the chest and the support against gravity. The advantage of the posture jack is that these rings, so to speak, are portable. They take these rings with them to work as they jog, as they walk, on the beach, in the park, and they can constantly get that same experience that the gymnast gets when he or she um, are on their apparatus, feeling the nice effect of this upward lift of the body. Here's an illustration on the left of a lateral radiograph with uh, a person not using the posture jack. And you can see the flattening of the lower cervical spine, the loss of the normal lordosis, the extension of the occiput in the upper cervical region. And then we can see the same patient using the posture jack. So they're pushing down. They're getting the lift in their spine. They're achieving that neutral position. The cervical lordosis is straighter, more physiologic, and the head is properly positioned in neutral on the neck. So think about the patient with cervical headaches. Think about the patient who has neck pain and herniated discs and how much better they're going to feel and function when they're neutralized and centered, that somatocentric position. We talk about alignment an awful lot. How about movement? Well, one of the benefits of optimal neutral positioning is that it is the position from which all movements are the most free. So if I have someone in forward head posture, they're not as free, they're stiff. But in a neutral position, they have much more range of motion in all directions. You can try that experiment on yourself. If you assume a forward head rounded shoulders posture, and just feel how difficult it is to rotate, to extend, and then repeat that little experiment in a neutralized, centered position, how much freer you feel. So it's not just about alignment, it's also about motion and function.